Well, good morning. Bobby Lee here from Hurricane Creek Farms again. Glad y'all have tuned in. You can see there off to the east, the sun coming up. Going to be another beautiful day here. I think getting close to 70 today, upper 60s, just unbelievable, especially in contrast to what we had a week ago. Got these girls fed. Gotta get on here and feed the feeder steers. But stop me if you've heard this before. Got a lot of things to do today, believe it or not. But we're gonna dive in and get after it. Thank y'all for watching. Give the video a thumbs up. Let's get after it. So we had all but one cow at the feed bunk. And so, oh, actually I can see her right over there. See her just over the hilltop. By that one empty hay ring at the hay feeder. That's what I figured. Um, we usually have ah, as many as three or four some days that just figure it's not worth the, the hassle and the fight to get to the feed box. But we gotta get some hay put out this morning. We gotta get some hay moved in. Um, we still got some in the barn, but kind of trying to, to hold on to that really good, best quality hay. Some that we bought up the road, it should have dried up enough now that we can get in there and, and get it hauled home. But uh, I'd be surprised if we make it through this video today without having a calf born. We have several that look like they're really close. And um, we had one born uh, two days ago, maybe. I um, didn't have any yesterday. I think it was the day before yesterday. But anyway, I'm gonna get these, these feeders fed. See, it's very muddy out there, which of course they still have access to the barn. But get them fed and then I actually have to run to town for just a minute. Got some loose ends to tie up at the office. Then we're gonna get after it. And these boys have really been going through the corn here recently, which is a good thing. We, uh, I mean, that's pretty much their only job at this point in their life is to eat and get fat. Um, but the kind of, the, the plan, the feed plan we have them on, the ration, is basically 2% of their body weight in corn. Um, and then they get a pound and a half of the high protein pelleted feed total per head per day, one and a half pounds each per day. And then we also, we add a little more cottonseed meal as well to add a little more protein. But of course, as you can see, we, when you say 2% of the body weight, I don't know what they weigh. This fellow here, I'm gonna say he's 1200 plus. Like he is big, He's he's been the biggest one all along. And then he's one of the smaller ones. I mean, he's, I, I doubt he's a thousand. Um, um, he's not a thousand. Uh, he, he's probably closer to 900. But um, anyway, we basically our rule of thumb is we, we give them enough corn. Um, we don't we like for them to clean it up pretty fast, not have any left over. But been bumping them up the last few days, and they're eating it all. Um, we're kind of cautious not to overdo it in terms of how much you increase them or how quickly, because then they'll go off feed for a few days, and that's even more annoying. But there's another one of the bigger boys coming around there. Oh. All right, we gotta get out of here. We got other things to do. Another thing we gotta do, we go to town, is Tennessee Ag Enhancement Program. Finally got our packet in, oh, less than a week ago. So got all our stuff submitted, paperwork, so we can get our cost share. I guess we bought this year squeeze chute at the other farm. Heavier duty alley panels go into our loading ramp. And a bow gate that we actually used here, oh, and our palpation cage. So those kind of four different little items. But um, yeah, Tennessee Ag Enhancement Program. Those of you watching within the state of Tennessee, you may be familiar with it. If you haven't, I recommend checking it out. Um, I don't know, anybody in any other states, you may have a similar program, but comment below. If, you've, uh, if you're in Tennessee and you're using that program, let me hear about it. Or if you're in another state, if you have anything like that, um, it's fairly neat. Um, you know, just where you can get cost share on a variety of different things, but anyway, let's get to town. We gotta go by the office, we'll go by the post office, and we'll be back at it. So, made it back home. Good. Put out just a couple of rolls of this older, smaller hay, real quick for the cows just because they are completely out. Put out two for them yesterday at lunch. It's just amazing how fast they go through these little ones. Um, then I'm gonna head up the road, drop the tractor at that other farm, come back in the truck, and we can start moving some hay. Because um, it does look like it is dry enough for that to be uh, you know, not an issue at all this morning.
I don't know if you'll be able to appreciate it. But there's one flying off there. Two bald eagles are sitting right there on that other ridge just across the way here. Um, oh, and I don't know if you can tell, but they actually lit in a tree right there. So I'm not going to go any closer just so it's not spooky. Maybe we can get some more footage of them later. There's actually just on the top of that next ridge and shot a coyote uh, a few days ago. And so that's no doubt they're right there at it and they're picking on that carcass. But um, pretty cool. We had them here the other day. They were down here in one of these pine trees lit. Uh, we made a little shorts video on that. So check that out. But uh, yeah, pretty cool. America, baby. It's pretty cool. Did not expect we were going to have eagles in this video today, but we'll see there. They're back in that tree. We'll see if they come back out there in the pasture and get some more good footage of them. Maybe here in a little bit, but our weather is just crazy. Uh, I don't know if you can see, but just right over here in, in the shady areas, we still have ice on the ground, even though it's been in the 60s the last couple of days. Um, or the 50s is going to be in the 60s today. Tomorrow, our high is 38. <laughs> so, who knows? This weather can't get, crazy, or can't get you know, right or consistent. And I think it's gonna be pretty cool the next couple of days. This is right back in the 60s next week. So, anyway, we're enjoying the sunshine, warm weather while we got it. Well, I'd made the prediction earlier that we were gonna make it through the day without having another cat. Looks like it's gonna be true. This one here. I noticed she was kind of laying down. Now there's a few others around. And actually, that's another one that I think could go anytime. But yeah, something's about to happen. So keep a watch on her. We're right here along the driveway. There's the truck. There's all that ice that still hadn't melted that I was talking about. Yeah, it's so weird. Like on those south facing hills, you know, all that ice was melted like five, six days ago. So it's not only ice is gone but it's dry over on these north uh, facing hillsides in some spots there's still ice and even where it's melted it's still really muddy because it's slowly melted all week long so yeah, just depending on where you are it might be nice and dry or there might still be ice and mud but we'll get this unloaded she's right there in a good spot where we can observe very easily while we continue to move hay it's it's like between 25 and 30 minutes round trip for us to go up there get the hay get loaded and get back you can see there she is right down there looking through the weeds so let's see how much progress she makes over the next 20 minutes or so well in the words of the great ron burgundy that escalated quickly i uh don't want to say i didn't expect her to have it by the time we got back but i, I guess i kind of didn't i didn't i didn't, I didn't think in the span of about 20 25 minutes she would go from no feed or anything showing to boom live calf on the ground but she did we're happy for it we're gonna leave her alone we're not gonna bother them too much bull calf yep scrotum hanging back there this should be and we'll get a better look they all look kind of droopy eared for the first you know, few minutes of life We got one more load to make after we dump that one. So we gotta get stuff done. They are quite amazing creatures. I mean, literally 30 minutes ago we drove past here and there weren't even feet sticking out. And now calf has been born, is now up and attempting to nurse. Uh, Mom's been licking on him pretty good. She's also uh, doing her best to be sure she eats all the placenta but they commonly do that of course but incredible incredible how quickly it can all happen for them there he is all right so we got i guess four and a half loads moved 23 rolls the next task is going to be is sadie is going bananas it's going to be we're going to get the that herd cedar put on the back of the side by side and go get some clover seed spread, do a little frost seeding. Um, we'll talk a little more about that. The wind is blowing its butt off like 20 miles an hour out of the south, which is why it's gonna be nearly 70 degrees. But 
it's going to jack up our audio a little bit but we're going to we're going to get that on there talk a little more about frost seating all right so to talk a little more about frost seating what we're planting is um it's a we actually have a mix of both red and white clover you can see that the seed is just tiny 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 have a very narrow opening um on, on the cedar there but the idea is you get it broadcast and spread you know this time of year it's february the 11th i think they say like mid to late february maybe even on into march when the ground is still going through the freeze and thaw cycles and so for this tiny seed is that uh, ground kind of expands and contracts it works it in and so um, just kind of a way to help add some clover back to pasture. There is some clover in here. Um, a lot of this broad, broad leaf here is weeds with the wild buttercup. But you can also see the pasture's grazed back really short. Um, that's just because those cows that we had just bought were still in here until like middle of December. And so they had grazed it back pretty hard, um, which is actually good because right now we should be really nice for seeding that well actually too as this grass really starts to jump over the next uh, month or so we'll probably let them in here let them graze it back short again maybe shorter than we otherwise normally would in order to again keep from from really competing with clover i don't know the more i look i'm really having a hard time finding much clover which um again any there's a little clover there yeah there's some clover in here but because they were in here until December, they were they had hay. Of course, they were picking around, taking advantage of any any little bit of growth that was taking place. But you can see just across the tree line there, that's our our property, and then our property right there. So house just over through there. So we're just around the way. We did have to drive kind of around the world to get here because where we can cross the creek on our property to get on this side. You then can't get on this place because there's this other ditch just right here in the woods. I think eventually we may be able to rig up a way that we can at least get across with the side by side. Um, but uh, just make it a little more convenient coming up here to check cows and whatnot. But we're gonna get this spread. Um, you don't spread very much. I think um, this is already mixed. Well, I'm not gonna tell you the rate typically because I'm a, I would tell you wrong but um you know it's a relatively low rate we're, we're going for a total of only about five or six pounds an acre on what is already mixed so we got that spread emptied oh we might have put it down a little thicker than i wanted we got over about eight nine acres but also that was not quite a full bag of seed either so probably did about what we wanted to do but we're gonna head back towards the house and we've got a few other things we need to get done as always i'm gonna leave that on the pioneer because my brother is gonna do the same thing at his place we'll let him borrow it we're gonna jump back on the tractor and get some more of this hay we just moved put out check out this little dude over here you know he may be camera shy but yeah, look at him. Guy's not even three hours old. He's already wanting to get jiggy with it. Yeah. I like it. I like it, that vigor. So, actually, I meant to grab the ear tagger. Uh, I'm gonna grab it on our next trip. Out with a couple more rolls of hay. Get him tagged. Another thing I wanted to mention again as we drive up here to get a couple more rolls of hay is hope you've had a chance to check out the Talk Dirt To Me podcast. Um, my cousin Logan and I do once a week. Uh, the episode drops every Thursday morning. We talk all kinds of things in agriculture. Um, we talk a lot of cattle stuff the last couple of weeks. Some policy issues that are, that are facing the industry. How we think that will or won't work out. But anyway, yeah. Talk Dirt To Me podcast. Anywhere you listen to podcasts, you can find it or go to talknerdpodcast.com.
closer inspection, I'm not sure that he is out of our uh, bring this bull or the bull price bull we didn't have. He doesn't have near as much gear as I would have expected. So we'll see as, as more calves are being born here and it becomes apparent which one's it is, which one is. I'm going to go ahead and say she was probably fed by the neighbor bull like a half dozen others. But anyway, got that one tagged. I got to get rolling. I got places to be. I need to go see my daughter. Um, or not see her. I'm going to meet my wife and the kids. Softball field. I'm going to try to do some practice earlier this afternoon. It's just so beautiful. So, um, probably going to about wrap it up for this one. Um, lots of good stuff going on. Going to be a lot more calves hitting the ground. I mean, heck, we had eagles. We had baby calves. We had moving hay. We had it all in this video, I feel like. But y'all keep tuning in. We appreciate that. Subscribe if you haven't. Um, give them the video a thumbs up as always. Appreciate it. And as always, we remind you. Eat beef and God bless.